First off, I'm gonna make a really nice light caramel. Pan on, nice and low. Great two apples. And this helps to almost sort of pure the apple so much quicker. There's a lot of flavor in the skin, so don't worry about peeling the fruit. Whether it's pears, plums, peaches, the flavor's in the skin. Nice. To start the caramel, a couple of tablespoons of sugar. The sugar helps to get rid of the tartness in the apple. A touch of cinnamon. That starts to make it a little spicy. Open up your vanilla and just scrape out all those seeds. Now, this just makes it light and fragrant. All those seeds in to the sugar. When making caramel, be patient and always swirl the dish instead of stirring it. When the sugar goes brown, add the apple. That starts to sort of cool down the caramel, but it gives it a really nice sort of caramelized puree. Apple's almost disintegrating. It smells incredible. Turn the gas down. Slice up two apples. It's a crumble that's got no frills. Straightforward, no faffing around, no peeling of the skin. I want them to sort of stand out from the caramel. Apple's in. Now those nice thick chunks of apple sort of almost bedding itself into the puree. Dried cranberries gives it that nice sort of shock in the texture. Sweet and chewy. I want it to sort of taste zesty, spicy, so sit the lemon zest on top of your apples and cranberry. Fresh lemon juice over. And that just gives that extra acidic kick. Takes the cranberries, the apples, the caramel, and the cinnamon to another level. Turn the gas off. Just let that sit, and let's concentrate on the crumble. Flour in. A couple of tablespoons of demerara sugar. Sugar helps to get the topping nice and crispy. Butter in. Give that a nice little sort of rub. What we're looking for is like a, a breadcrumb mixture. Lightly season it with a touch of cinnamon. And the demerara sugar sort of helps to get a nice fine crumble mix, and it stops the butter from sort of melting in that flour. So that's the basic crumble mix, but I'm not finished yet. Muesli. Two thirds crumble, one third muesli. Mix that in. If you haven't got muesli, then crunchy granola works brilliantly too. Lovely. Now, start off in the center and work your way around. I want the crispiness on the top, the puree on the bottom with the caramel, and then the texture in the center. A good tip. Turn the gas back on. I want it bubbling before it goes in the oven, because then you've just got to cook the top. So as soon as you see that caramel starting to bubble down the side, in she goes. Let's go. Bake at 200 degrees Celsius for 12 to 14 minutes until golden brown. Smells amazing. <sighs> Beautiful. Still bubbling. And look at it. A delicious but very simple crumble with apples at their absolute best. Beautiful. Nice long strokes so we get the whole of the blade over. Beautiful. Pierce that open, squeeze it in that delicious.